the busiest days we've had on the farm in a long time. We have 50 loads of soybeans going out over the next 45 days, so we are going to be moving with the semis. Cooper and Zach are in the ripper in the high-speed disc. They're out working up ground right now, mixing in fertilizer, mixing in lime. Speaking of lime, the lime guys are out spreading lime as we speak. So today we're gonna be loading up trucks. We're gonna be getting things set up. We're gonna be running around helping everybody if they need something. We just wanna keep people moving in the field and if we have time, we're gonna start tackling this mess behind me. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just wanna watch a 26 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. So first things first, we need to get the grain vac going this morning and we also need to pull all this equipment out over here because the Oliver is buried in front of it, and we need the Oliver. I hope the telehandler is gonna start. We didn't plug it in last night. It's like 20 degrees out right now. We will see. Gotta let the glow plugs run for a second. Hey, hey. hey morning, Dad. Morning. Got Samuel and Levi loaded with beans and they're heading off to the processor and then I got the cart full again. Ronnie's full too, isn't he? We loaded him last yeah, night. Yeah, Ronnie's full. He must already took off because his truck was over here. We're gonna be trying to keep ahead of three semis today, which is going to be a formidable challenge. What can they all do a day, two loads? Yeah, and our biggest thing is where we're loading, it's not the fastest fill up, so that will be our, hopefully they all don't pull in all at once. It takes probably 20 to 30 minutes per truck to fill where we're filling. But yeah, two loads is what they're shooting for. We got 25,000 bushels of beans going out this week. So hopefully we can keep them going and get it in there. We got 25 going this week, but then 50 over the next month? I think, the rest, days? I think the rest is in January. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be busy. <laughs> We have to make a trick, trick, quick, a quick trip down to the main needed shop. We need some antifreeze. You want two gallon, Dad? One gallon, but I still got some. Oh, well, I actually got a full jug in the truck. Okay, let's bring two gallon over because I don't have any at my house. Okay. And we also need this big old honking wire right here to plug in the motor for the bed. And the last thing we need, uh, I gotta squeeze through there, is this big old roll of sticky tape. Oh. Right there, there, we got a hole. Take to the rescue. Look. Welcome to Kristen and Rusty's. We're still pulling out of this bin right now. The semis come under, we'll just load them straight with the auger. Once that runs empty in the center, then we are gonna have to use the grain vac to go inside the door. These bins don't have sweeps in them, so our sweep is going to be the grain vac, and then we'll simply just move this auger over to the other bin. <sighs> we needed a 220 extension cord going from that motor right between the bins. We have a 220 plug-in on the other side of the bin, so we just needed a little extra boost to get over to here. Once we get this semi full, Levi should be coming in with load number two. Then once we hit Levi full, Ronnie should be coming in for load number three. When we hit Ron full, Sam should be coming back for another load. So we're just gonna keep these things moving. She full. There he goes. And we literally waited about four minutes and here's Levi. Sorry, sorry. Kermit the Frog. Hey everybody, it's uh, Kermit the Frog here, hauling some beans for the old Cornstar family. Ah, I think we might want to get a little more centered out. Here comes Ronnie, I guess he's a little early. Beep, 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 beep. We're gonna leave Dad here to finish filling Levi and then he'll get Ronnie filled up. I have a meeting with some concrete engineers. Mm, how do I join the call? All right, buddy. I'm gonna need you to remember a lot of stuff here too. I remember half of it, you remember half of it, and then I can tell you my half, you tell me your half, okay? 
Hey, I want to touch base with you. Um, Dan had mentioned you had reached out a couple times, wanted to get an update on where things stand right at the moment. So that was one of the engineers we're working with around the lawsuit on our Ben site. More specifically, this was the concrete engineer. So we just went over some stuff. He had a few questions and I had a few questions. So we kind of conversed on things. I'm not going to go into detail about it until after we're done with everything. But the ball is definitely starting to roll on some stuff. Dad's been filling trucks the whole time while we were at that meeting. Looks like the spreader guys have moved over to Bill's. We're on campground right this second. Got Cooper coming up behind me with the speed disc. They already got this one spread with lime, so Cooper's starting to get it incorporated. And they're going over there. That farm is getting 3.6 tons per acre on it. <laughs> So they're gonna be filling that spreader all the time. That's what they're running right there. It looks like a John Deere or some type of spreader. They got a big old bell conveyor. That semi that's coming down the road must be for him. Oh yeah, that's the trailer right there. We're trying to get this speed disc figured out. We're having a little bit of a, a berming issue. I'm sitting right on the line right now. We have a little bit of a hump. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's maybe this much higher right here on this line than it is on the left or the right. Soil's getting thrown out right to us right here. It's making just a little bit of a high spot and we don't want that. We want it just to be nice and smooth. Cooper thought it was our auto steer setting maybe not being just right because it makes a divot on the one side then when you turn around you're supposed to fill the divot with the part that kicks out. But we're not so sure that's the problem anymore. So Cooper's visiting with the guy who we're renting it from and he's gonna walk you through everything and we'll get it set up. Then this thing should run nice. Otherwise everything else is doing it's looking really good. You look at the ground and it just looks like we got this white powder all over. That's all of our lime. We got some of these bigger chunks. That's the part of the rock that didn't get crushed up. So that guy probably won't do too much to contribute. But all these little baby fine pieces are gonna do a ton. Wow, it does not take him long to empty out at all. That is super satisfying to watch. <gasps> all kinds of lime. Get all that calcium. Let's see how dad's making out. Oh, he's sleeping in the tractor. Hey, don't sleep it on the job. Hey, Sammy Sosa's back. You know how I thought I loaded myself lighter? Yeah. I was heavier, <laughs> but like 600 pounds. What? Felt him a little heavy last time. Yeah, really. Heavier than the time before. Looks like the center of that bench just starting to run empty. The center of the bench ran empty, so now we're gonna open one of the sides. Doors. We should be able to open this little walk-in door now, too. Oh, sweet! We got the new power sweep! Yeah! <laughs> that's good. Center of that bin just ran empty. We got the door open. We're gonna pull the grain vac up and get everything set up so that way in the morning, hopefully, we can just dump right onto the semis with the grain vac. Burr, 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 it's starting to cool down. Come on, gal, let's see if we can start here. That won't start while it's in gear. Grain vac is all set up, ready to rock and roll. We're gonna plug the Oliver in tonight. That way it should fire up right away in the morning. And then the semis can now just pull right under here and we'll fill them right underneath the grain vac. The grain bins over here at Chris and Rusty's, these guys were probably built in the 1960s back then. Not a lot of bins had power sweeps in them. So once we get our center holes sucked empty in these bins like they are now, they're gonna have to come in with a giant grain vac, AKA the vacuum cleaner. I might have said that backwards. Giant vacuum cleaner, AKA the grain vac. Is what we use to clean out the last of the bins. So this is gonna work pretty stinking good. There's probably about three semi loads worth in that grain bin. Once we get this all emptied out, then we'll simply just move this auger over to the other bin. And that bin's the same size as this one. We got seven loads out today. So solid day. If we have days like this, we'll be done hauling in. Three more days. Plugging in the engine heaters. It's supposed to get down to about 20 degrees tonight, so this will just help them start a lot easier. Coal so bright, I need shades. And what's Ronnie doing way over there?
We got about 100 bushels left. I'm honestly not sure I can get more on that grain cart if I wanted to. We got right at 10 semi loads out of this bin, so we're gonna get this yellow auger set up on the other bin now, and then we won't have to grain back at least for the rest of the day once we get that last little bit in that one done. Well, I had talked to Samuel a little while ago. It sounded like the probe broke at the bean plant, but Ronnie just pulled in and he said it looks like he's gonna be quite a while. He's way up the street. Samuel just called also and said they got the probe going now, so the beans are rolling in again, so the line should start moving. We'll be in good shape. So Samuel is on his way back to reload. We got everything set up here just in time because Samuel is just starting to pull in. Now this unload on this bin is only a six inch, so it takes about 45 minutes to fill the semi with this one. So that's where we're gonna utilize the grain cart. So what we're gonna do is fill the front half of Sam's semi with the grain cart, because the grain cart is half of a semi. And then we just pull the semi under the auger for the back half. So instead of a 45 minute load, we can do it in about 22. And then while our truck's not here, we'll be filling the grain cart so we can do the same thing for the next one. Here we are two days later. I've been in the hospital for the past two nights. We had a family medical issue. Every, everybody is a-okay. It was just a precautionary check and they were running some tests and doing some, uh, what is that called? Oh, what is that called? Antibiotics, that's what it is. So anyway, everything is under control. Everybody is 100% okay, but dad's been filling out of this. He got everything ran empty. So now we're ready to vac out the other bin. There should be two and a half semi loads in here. So if all goes well today, we will have both the bins over here at Kristen and Rusty's completely empty. You like our dipstick on the Oliver? It's literally a nut welded on to some sort of dipstick. We're a tad low, but I think we'll be okay for what we're doing today. We're kind of sitting on a hill. Ronnie should be pulling in just here in a couple minutes. We're gonna get this tractor warmed up. We're gonna get the grain vac tube hooked up inside of the bin. And then he should be pulling in and we are going to get this thing done. It's always a good day when we can get done with the grain vac because this thing's messy loud and it's not the most fun job. This is what we're going to be working with inside of the bin. This is about 2,500 bushels of soybeans or about $30,000 worth. We got run full and we probably got a semi and a half left inside of here. And it sounds like Sam's supposed to be here in 15 minutes, so I am simply just going to sit in the heat because it's cold out there. Ah, semi sauce está aquí. Just try not to smack the stack on the grain vac. Probably a smart idea. Be. We got 
got Sammy Sosa full and Leroy is pulling in for the last load in this bin. And we are done over here at Kristen and Rusty's. Ooh, careful Levi. You're good. We're simply just gonna empty the grain cart onto Levi, and then we'll be completely done over here at Kristen and Rusty's. Oh, I'm glad we are done with the grain vac. Now we have everything nice and easy with the Badco belt conveyor. We have fuller sweeps in these bins and bigger unloads. I think this is the one. Yes, yeah, sir. Load number three today, I think that's load 20. I don't know what's going on here. Low on fuel maybe or something's broken. It's gotta be one of the two. I don't see anything broken. I'm hoping fuel. How are you making out? Out of gas. Out of gas? Woo, Zach was just getting fuel. Speaking of fuel, I'm gonna run in the house, put some food in my belly. Zach's gonna start ripping right behind the house. And I'm gonna have to find something pretty quickly because Ronnie just called, he said he's about back and Sam's gonna be about 20 minutes behind him. Hmm, moose munch, uh, no. Uh, Mm. Cup of Greek yogurt, got some frozen pineapples, papaya, mango, and I think there's a strawberry in there. Just got Ron done. That's load number four today. For whatever reason, that bend fan turns on when we turn on this cord. We need that cord in order to run the belt conveyor. So I have no idea why I can't turn that bend fan off, but I guess we have to listen to it for the time being. And I think Sammy Sosa is just pulling in. There he is. Oh my, that was unnecessary. Okay, we got Sam full. Uh, load five, I think. Now Levi's gonna be back in an hour to get refilled for in the morning. So I'm gonna try to get the Brent 674 grain cart all cleaned out in the bottom. We need to get that unit brought back over to the main farm, get that on hooked because we're gonna hook the plow on. We need to get the Oliver home. We need to get the grain vac folded down, everything cleaned up, get all the hoses picked up. We got a bunch of shovels and random tools that we use over here. We need to get everything cleaned up here, put in the truck. So I guess we start now. He's just finding all the fence that we missed when we were picking stuff up. Levi's here. person who's ever done any plowing in our family is dad and he's not here right now so Cooper and I are gonna try to figure out how to set this thing up we're supposed to level it from front to back and side to side at least that's according to Dave the towel guy who he has plowed so we have him for phone a friend if we need help <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do moment of truth I'm gonna get away from that hydraulic cylinder in case that hose blows 
Doesn't look too bad, actually. Like I said, I've never pulled a plow before, so I don't know how to do this, but I think we have to take one of the back tires off. Headed to Parker's Fast to change four tires for him quick, BRB. I just gotta mount them, won't take long. Okay, I guess we'll see you in an hour. I guess since Cooper decided to do that, I just got a call. It sounds like my family got out of the hospital, so I am going to pick them up. We're gonna start plowing tomorrow. But this is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.